our pay-per-view special, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. The site for our championship fight. Scheduled for 12 rounds. The entourages and the corner men have gone off. Two men just standing opposite each other. Finally, nothing to do but fight. Round number one of this championship bout. Nothing quite like the atmosphere of a championship fight. Close the jam. Joe Frazier with the big hook. Solid left hand. Joe Frazier, of course, one of the all-time great knockout punchers, but the guy he's going up against tonight, he can take care of you. Yeah, he can bang. In Frazier's mind, he's got the big hook, though. He figures everyone else, they have a little stiletto. Well, that's his signature punch right there. Joe Frazier landing the hook. And he stays downstairs. To the head he goes with a left hand. Halfway through this round, and a right hand lands flush. Able to dismiss that body shot. Joe Frazier's rocked by that punch. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, baby, it is. Standing up to it, but now he goes down for the first time. corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Final 10 seconds of round number one. He missed with that headshot. Every fight takes on its own unique personality. And this fight looks like it's going to be a matching of wits, a technical display. Yeah, if it was a chess match, it wouldn't be a lot of knights jumping over to castles. It'd be a lot of pawns moving forward very steadily. A huge uppercut by Joe Frazier. Frazier's got to prove a few things here. Number one, he's got to prove to his opponent that he's on good ground after being knocked down in the last round. But he's also got to prove it to the referee, too. Yeah, he does. And his corner. Because his corner, I just noticed, they put that towel over their shoulder. So they know the condition their fighter's in. They know their responsibility. And they're ready to act on it. And he returns on that exchange. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Now he's getting into a groove. You can tell he just landed a three-punch combination. Frazier's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. And he just holds on me. there. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Back and forth exchange. Got that quick trigger, that little double jab there. Boom, boom. Move, move. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Yeah, baby, it is. that time by that power punch that put him down. So Joe Frazier goes down and now rises to his feet. And now he has to make sure that he kills some time. Gets in close. What a big shot. How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way. Still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. 
and I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you gotta do now, if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is, you don't wanna go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. That's a razor sharp uppercut by Joe Frazier. So he scores a nice yeah, round in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. Oh. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something even bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Joe Frazier. What a bulldozing uppercut. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He just yeah, baby did. The end fighter went out, and now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. Two, three. It's over. This fight is over. Frazier smashed, and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockout, your winner and new champion of the world, Dan.